Let me announce to the country from Strait here in Bomet, the same way they are telling us that they are deal breakers. Ata hii yetu kwa mambo ya housing levy, that one is a deal breaker. Mimi siwezi kubali. Mtu yoyote ambaye ata insist kwa mba ati lazima tutoe housing levy, bas mkutano ya mazungumzo itaisha, mtu warudi kwa barabara afanya hili ambaye alikuwa nataka. Sababu, I cannot allow myself to sign on a report ambaye itakosesha kazi hawa vijana maelfu ambaye wamekaa hapa siku ya leo. That is not the job that I was elected to do. In any case, wala wanatuzungumzia, unajua ya mwisho tu your excellence kabla ni, ni, ni muite governor. Tutakubali advice na tutasikia kweli ile ambaye watu wanatuambia mungefanya hivi, mungetengeneza. But we cannot take advice from the same people who got us into the mess that we are currently in. Some of the people ambaye wanaongea, ndiyo walikuwa wanazunguka wakikopa pesa wakitupa kwa mambo ya BBI na rege, alafu sasa atileo wanajifanya advisors. How can you be advising us and you are the one who got us into the problem that we are in today? Please keep your mouth quiet, wacha tupange serikali na mpango mzuri ambaye rais ameleta mpaka inchi ya Kenya iweze kufufuka na kuinuka vizuri. Ni kweli kila mtu anakubali kwamba gharama na bei ya maisha kwa sasa iko juu na inasumbua wananchi wote. Lakini kuna mambo ambaye sisi hatuwezi kukubali kuyafanya kwa sababu tunajua ile mazuri ambaye itatokea kutokana na zile policies ambaye we umeweka. Policy ya kwanza ile ambaye wale watu wanatusumbua kuhusu kama hii kitu inaitwa housing levy between Kericho na Bomet katika mpango yetu ya housing ambaye wewe mimi najua hivi karibuni utazindua tunafaa kujenga manyumba zaidi ya 1200 20000 household na umetuambia katika kila household inaandika kazi vijana nane. 20000 times 8 that is 160000 young people of Bomet and Kericho that are about to get employment courtesy of the housing program that you initiated. Alafu unapata mtu anakuja pale anatuambia atitoeni housing levy kwa sababu ya siasa ya unafiki tu. Yet actually in the real sense if you read the Azimio manifesto na Kenya Kwanza both of them ilikuwa na proposal ya housing levy. Lakini kwa sababu wanataka tu kufanya siasa na kuongea maneno ambayo isaidi nchi ya Kenya ati wanatuambia watoe. Let me announce to the country from Strait here in Bomet The same way they are telling us that they are deal breakers. Ata hii yetu kwa mambo ya housing levy, that one is a deal breaker. Mimi siwezi kubali. Mtu yoyote ambaye ata insist kwa mba ati lazima tutoe housing levy, bas mkutano ya mazungumzo itaisha, mtu warudi kwa barabara afanya hili ambaye alikuwa nataka. Sababu, I cannot allow myself to sign on a report ambaye itakosesha kazi hawa vijana maelfu ambaye wamekaa hapa siku ya leo. That is not the job that I was elected to do. In any case, wala wanatuzungumzia unajua ya mwisho tu your excellence kabla ni, ni, ni muite governor tutakubali advice na tutasikia kweli ile ambaye watu wanatuambia mungefanya hivi mungetengeneza but we cannot take advice from the same people who got us into the mess that we are currently in some of the people ambaye wanaongea ndio walikuwa wanazunguka wakikopa pesa wakitupa kwa mambo ya BBI na rege alafu sasa hadi leo wanajifanya advisors how can you be advising us and you are the one who got us into the problem that we are in today. Please keep your mouth quiet. Wacha tupange serikali na mpango mzuri ambaye rais ameleta mpaka nchi ya Kenya iweze kufufuka na kuinuka vizuri. Kongo is missing uh, your excellency the president Kongo amun Kenyon kesatul raini ko Kongo amun imiga en sotik ko kaenane ko kayago mwa Chigole Magitaro Gutich Chiaoga Numbunen Ko Enga Lega Sitimogi Ke Amun Gigo Negasi Noton Ko Kimua Gongoi En Message Neboga Nisa Message Neboga Aliet Ko Gongoi En Galiet Negitinge En Sotik Gongoi Missing This Is Lagrange From Simple Generations